What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Oh, where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Well, that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. <laughs> Alright, everyone, welcome back to uh, episode. Uh, 10 of our Red Dead Redemption 2 series. Oopsie, wasn't quite there. Sorry, uh, it took so long for me to, uh, start talking. I was just, uh, okay. I had Here some dogs are. working. So, but, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper. So, I guess we're you going into town to get I something. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Guess we're going over to the post office.
Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. all we needed to do. Get back over to the wagon. Sorry, I got a little cold, so I'm not going to be talking that much this episode. But. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Yeah, Come Sadie. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you Staple get everything? Staple and fangy groceries. I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne and Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. So you we got some trouble. So? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No. Sadie, you... Go, go, go! Why would you do that? Why would we bring over? Hats. There goes his head. New pair of pants. Think you're landing records? Oh, shut up. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Sadie's head over here. Not a huge well, fan, but. Wanted to see some action. He knows how to kill people. Kitty, now you got your wings. How do you mark them? Someone I please tell me how Because I used to be able to and I don't really understand how to anymore. Like the dead eye. Far too much. Where'd he go? Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward! Let me loot him. Are you coming? This guy doesn't have anything? Do they have anything? Okay, this guy's got something. Hang on, Sadie. It's common courtesy to loot after you kill. One more. Stamina 75% to level 6. Nice. 
Sure, let's pick up the hat. I don't know how to get her hat. Someone told me it was in my horse's cargo, but I can't find it, so... I haven't really looked though, so... No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, you want me to drive? We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Yeah. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you would. I have traveled widely, making no small names. I like our new spot. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind falls. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And auto save, sure. Nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. All right, let's see what other missions we got going on. There's a couple over here. Grays. Dutch asked you to sniff around Kaliga Hall and see what you can find out about the Grays. Or Dutch. Sheriff Gray asked you and Dutch to go back and see him sometime. Sure, let's do that. What town is this called again? Hang on. Rhodes. Rhodes. Cool. Or in my horse. There he is. Yeah, get with the audio though. If you guys, uh, morning. You guys, uh, basically, I just the audio will get better eventually. My microphone isn't the worst. It's only like a forty dollar one, and that was basically. All the money I had at the time, so. Um. I gotta save up for like a. I know there's some editing softwares that you can edit. Basically. I'm not sure exactly how people do it, but I think it's kind of even. Like, some people use voiceovers. Because there's an option to, like, use commentary over your videos. You just. Think all this Just for, air is uh, green for you? In the uh, Elgato software, so you record and you can also add commentary if you want, which I would like to do, but it's super quiet when I do it, so I gotta figure that out. So I just use a uh, audio software, like excuse me, device to like edit my audio and. Uh, but when I export my clips from Elgato. It'll like cut. I don't even know. It'll just like trim out little parts. So like, it goes down by like five to like thirty seconds sometimes. It's so annoying. I have no idea how to fix it because it's not even noticeable parts. It just kind of like slims it down a little bit. But it'll, it'll get better. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is it'll my get dear friend Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to 
Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff Gray. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? What do we have here? So I guess we're sheriffs now. That's pretty cool. We can get a lot away uh, with quite a bit then. Come on, mister. I guess we can't loot them in front of the sheriffs. Keep your eyes I was honestly open. just about to. No. 
This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet Execution. clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Archibald Raiders? Is that what he said? No. I don't think he said Archibald Raiders. Archibald's his name, is it not? Pretty sure. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Well, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Hey, slow it down a bit. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a Seems few like stories we're in the, to uh, tell you. Town preacher and town like sheriff. A, Bear right again here. Drink a sailor like. under the table before breakfast. He had one time like it. It looks like a child on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, Seems like we're this like tells a you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. They said Let's take the... What we're, dealing with. Well, we're uh, beating up those people on the train last episode. They said take them alive and there was only one dude who got out alive. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Um, kind of want to go left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy Stealthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Us. Remember what he said. We need them. I'll just follow out. Bill. I like guess. Let's that. just knock them out and then tie them up. Got oh, it. we gotta go in this Deputy water. Williamson. That's nasty. Let's see one by the bridge over there. Crouch. Crouch, should we really go? I got this. You wait here. I'll do it. Okay. Make it quick. I'll tie this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Okay. Guess I'm going back in the swamp. I'm assuming he wants me to get the one over here. It's deeper 
here. Gotta be stealthy. Moonshine, I wonder what that means. Oh, that's brutal. Though it would really be terrifying being hogtied and thrown in the swamp. Are we gonna do it? Okay. I was like, that'd be brutal. Like, that'd be horrible. I remember, I think it was Narcos I watched. They tied someone's, like, hands behind their back and threw him in a pool. And just watched him, like, suffer. Man. That's, that's... Horrible. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, I think you're real funny, don't you? About this. I... That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Do we still have to be quiet? I don't think so. I don't know what, do I just like ignite it and run? Run! I think I ignited it. I did. Well, that alerted them, so. Arthur, we got some trouble here. This fight will be your last. Fast, faster. Where did these sons of bitches come Ooh. from? We're putting you out of business. Need a little more fun. Don't 
Dodge, we're back. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others. If you know what I mean. Only I didn't, Quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere? We really just stole all that like new yes. shine. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he like, can find a use he for it. In, in front of the sheriff. You just Rosa? stole all that Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, that, I think they easy. were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay. He's gonna You're get beat, on. man. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Go. Woo! Go. He took off. He took off. Your horse is too small, bud. Oh, I've got to turn. Bye. I'm gonna cut him off. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Huh? My turn back there it might cost me. I gotta jog because my horse is stem and I'm just gonna cut him off. What are you doing? My horse is stem has gone. What am I supposed to do? Just cut through the wilderness? We're almost there too. Yo, I delayed him. Quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. 
When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. What a nice guy, Dutch is. He really is. Okay, there's a mission right over here. Guess we'll go check that out. M.O. Who is M.O.? There's also like white mission circles that I need to. I. I that you can hey, do Arthur. just like optional, I think. Okay, that we might have to word. try out. They look pretty fun. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I. I really love him, you know. But if he. Like he always says. Loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. I guess we're going to uh, get payroll wagon or something. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. Yo ho! How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. <laughs> wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been playing doing. Playing lawman. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Horse, run fast. Hey. You don't want in on this, Williamson. That's I'm fine. literally spamming a white oh. on the Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once. Bill's Will horse you? is big. I've hey. been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Bandana? They'll be um there it is. Passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. Let's get him. Taking out our guns. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Leviticus Tom, again. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? That's true. Awesome. Man, I'm gonna oh, pop man. something that. Get my health and stamina core up. That's looking bad. Moderately restores health points later. No. Health. Have some of this. See you. 
what's in here. Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Nice. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Oh, it's just someone's house right there. That's kind of, uh, risky. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Oh, shut up, old man. Oh, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Right, now let's just keep this going. See what happens. Got this. Look, Vidic is Cornwall who? Who even is that? Is this your place? I don't even know kind who of. he is. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, He's no one to me. I, why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Right, go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Oh, no. Ain't me. He's lying. Not be. He's capish. Don't listen right. to him. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> That's not good. What do we do? What do we do? Well, the place looks to oh. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. What do we do? This looks empty me. to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. How do you not don't see, see him? Any horses. Come on, let's head back. Look! <laughs> Place How is do empty. you not see him? Oh, come on. 
Confuse him. Arthur, with me. What was that? A rat? Get off of You're on your own. Oh, shut the hell Scared me. Quick. Behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. What? only one right. You see anything? Not yet. Uh -huh. Get the hell off me! Oh, maybe I should help Bill. Arthur! Wait. What am I supposed to do? Made oh. a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there. I thought that was him. I thought that was Bill on top of him. My bad. Or Uncle. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give him a hand. They're coming up on their flank. What's up, fellas? Now. We all still alive. Yeah, just the 
about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, oh, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Oh, we got a lot of money. Kind of. My horse anywhere near here? Hopefully. Yep, thank god. I didn't want to run somewhere. episode i think that's gonna wrap it up it was a pretty good episode um but yeah if you guys like please leave a like and if you aren't subscribed already i dare you to subscribe but anyway i'll see you guys next time peace